Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So we have an event which is going to last 21 days and I highly recommend you do the minimum participation. At least it's got some very good rewards. It just takes a bit of, yeah, about 10, 15 minutes per day depending how fortunate you are in terms of what instance you're in. Additionally, there's a few other events you should also take advantage of along with, for some random reason, the claims free item event. Every day once you log in, You'll gain progress and you can claim a free reward after certain milestones. So the first time you log in, you can get this Neverwinter's Consumable Pack, which is just a free stone of health. Check your claims valuable tab and you should be able to claim them here. You obtain the pack and you get your rewards. Be aware though that you might not be able to. People have been reporting it and the pack is just not showing up for them. This could be as a result of an earlier bug where back in January people were randomly getting those rewards and yeah, I am not sure what's up. And I'm also not sure why this event is running. It's not like a new module came out or something. That's usually when they have these. But let's jump to the Siege of Neverwinter. This event and what can you hope to obtain? Well, go over here, grab your quest, the siege begins, and then you'll be wanting to head over to the Siege of Neverwinter zone just here on the map. Once here, you just need to speak to the NPC and that should be that but then every day you want to get the quest siege of neverwinter first time it'll be gold and from then on it will be blue so what you need to do is simply do heroic encounters in this zone again it will depend what zone you're in how fortunate you are on which heroic spawn and then how many players are there to actually help you once your heroic encounter appears you can go there and you just need to complete the objective as it says under the mini map and once you complete it you can see that will give you progress with the quest so the small heroics will give 20 percent the big ones will give 40 percent complete the next one we're now on 40 percent there's a third one complete 60 percent our fourth one complete 80 percent and our final one again heroic encounters are just displayed on the map with those icons and you have the big purple area where you need to partake and once you're there it should show under the minimap what's the objective here it's just yeah, 175 of these guys now for some reason this year i've been getting this fashion and i don't know why i'll cover it a little bit later we can have a look and there we go five heroic encounters and we are done you go you hand in the quest and that's your minimum participation of that day done for your entire account you get two tokens of participation for that and you can go and yes repeat that get a chance to obtain another participation token but again it's only a chance you'll normally have just obtained some like rough astral diamonds which is an okay grind to be honest as well if you want to be farming heroics and you can get the neverwinter defenders pack obtaining some of the old siege of neverwinter rewards you can check that out here and you can see what different ones you can obtain you can get like the siege breaker griffin by doing heroic encounters the neverwinter pack so you can see what they can obtain there but all of this stuff is uh, not exactly very important to be honest there's not a lot of value in them what is valuable though is your minimum participation you can check the event here and you can see how much you days you've completed and you can do 21 days now after you complete the 14 days of which you're just going to continually obtain more tokens of participation you will then get the token of achievement and then from there the following seven days you can get the token of challenge all those tokens you spend at a token vendor like this guy right here this is another one in protector's enclave and you can get some pretty high value rewards it's not something you should really miss out on participation tokens you can get upgrade tokens for companions and mounts usually what i suggest but there's glyphs and potencies there as well. For the challenge tokens, you can get these overloads, which can be pretty expensive. And I highly recommend them for end game builds to have them for master content. Otherwise, if you still need legendary insignias, you'll be able to get at least two of them during this event. Generally skip over the bags. You can get them very cheap on the auction house these days, especially when the new lockbox drops. And then the achievement tokens, you can save them up and 
yeah you could get five and get like a mythic account wide companion here particularly portobello for the team support with dnd in session that's very well sought after in end game groups but otherwise just costing three tokens the Staldorf. i just don't generally find that all too useful for damage dealers when you can run the knight batiri tamed raptor and then there's the Winsel Janasse, which yeah, I don't see fits anywhere at all. Neither of them have good damage. But then there's cosmetically the Behold a Personal Tank if you want that. Its damaging power is not that great. The area isn't as good as you could get on some other ones. And then there's the Golden Warhorse, which is very good with the Golden Touch. People keep asking, where is this power from? And it's from this one here. But again, you could just go with the Legendary Giant Toad cheaper you buy it for maybe 100 to 300k on account wide and so you don't really need this and the only real reason to take it would be cosmetics to be honest or if you just had the spare tokens and then there's the balgora which also i don't really recommend going for yes it's a good for slot mount and will be account wide if you do get it it does have executioner's covenant amongst these other bonuses here you can see which ones are preferred you can see which three slot bonuses you can obtain and uh, yeah it's not very important you can get other mounts that has those bonuses again my four slot mount document linked below and it's got the first page here as well if you want any of those four slot mount insignia bonuses you can see which mount would give all of those that is pretty much it i recommend just doing at least the bare minimum which is about 15 minutes again will depend on your instance you might have to wait for a few heroic encounters you might only need to do three of them if you get two dragons and one small one or you might just have to do five of them if you just get small ones and so every day you'll just come back to herself and you'll pick up the quest again and you'll go and complete it you can then also complete breaking the siege while doing so now there's also an additional thing you can do within this event and that's farming mobs you can just keep going around and killing them for what do you ask well stronghold vouchers we got a bunch here just by killing enemies and these vouchers you can donate to your guild to get a decent amount of guild marks during a guild mark event when you can get twice as much so you save them they are bound to your character you're not selling them or anything you will be using them for your personal gains of guild marks additionally for some reason we did get some fashion to drop here and we can view it yeah okay it's this fashion i'm not impressed by it but we got the headpiece we can probably get the armor and we got the boots you can see the full set then here interesting they made it drop on enemies now and yeah vouchers still do drop we got a bunch you just kill enemies and they have a chance to drop them like we just got here an influence voucher so you can very readily just stay in this zone and continually farm enemies what i do recommend if you do want to be here and get a lot of extra damage because you are scaled down all the way to just forty-four thousand, you can get the new arms from wild space the astral raiders which can give you as we can see here up to 19 percent more damage and that's going to be multiplicative it's a pretty huge buff you will have to do exraxian invasions in wild space killing bosses and also opening chests and then you can also get enough currency to just buy those arms as well we got another influence voucher there so they're dropping pretty readily this heroic encounter gets a ton of enemies spawning in as well so it's very easy to get them there's a frozen voucher so yes there's a bunch of extra stuff you can do with this event to make the most of it but you don't have to i recommend at least just the minimum participation 15 minutes or so get the heroics done and get that quest done get the progress on the event as you see here every day once per account again so you only need to do it on one character just make sure you're doing it on the right character on the 14th day to get those achievement tokens on the same character so we'd be recommended to do it on this character and then we can have three tokens and we could buy something 
or we could keep saving up. However, during this week, we also have times two in the path of the fallen so there's that campaign you can go complete on your say alternate characters if you didn't already get the boon points there you'll have to do a bunch of questing though as it is locked behind the entire storyline you can spend those genie gifts to get the currency to speed that up you can also remember to tr create a signet on an alternate character that can be well worth it to half all the costs there's also times to glory which is kind of pointless and unless you want to be setting up some PvP between yourselves to get the campaign done. But there's not real any need of that. You get so much glory that you're not going to know what to do with because there's not really much to spend it on. There is then double professions, which is pretty important for crafters and also using those scrolls you may have bought with guild marks. Those would just be at like your vendor here and you would have bought them again during the 20% off discount event. And you use those scrolls to get those items in the certain maps, make sure you have the map unlocked, and then you can go sell those for a bit of profit. There's also the new ones, but you have to have Master Crafting unlocked. And that is within Narbondalan, just at this vendor where you can buy those charts. But you can only buy them if you have Master Crafting of Chult and of Sharandar unlocked, which costs you nearly 20 million Astral Diamonds. So not really something you'd want to spend on for the average person where you're going to have to do a ton of farming to make that money back. Not usually worth it. And we do have increased elemental strands. So you could go farm enemies in, say, this zone. And every 30 seconds, you can get an elemental strand drop. And those drops can be useful. You can check your inventory. Chromatic ones, we can get 20,000. And those chromatic ones, you'll be used in your stronghold to donate them to get the Tyranny of Dragons progress. Again, you get these elemental strands every 30 seconds when you kill an enemy. So I would recommend going here. And these guys spawn every like 20 seconds or so. Just time it for yourself you can use that timer with your belt item as well which is a 30 second cooldown exactly or you just afk and have your companion attack here and you'll get those passively you should be able to get more to drop than usual during this week i don't think it's an awful lot more it's not like double but it's maybe like 50 percent more usually you get 50 per drop now we're getting about 75. With that said, hopefully this was somewhat insightful. Once again, a massive thank you to all of these channel members for your added support. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.